The first time that Debbie scored one of my films was over 20 years ago. Uh, we were both at USC, and the film was on Super 8. Um, in fact, since it wasn't sync sound, the film was in a projector, and Debbie's score was on a cassette tape. And when I showed it to my class, I had to reach out with both arms and carefully press play on the projector and play on a boom box at the exact same time and hope it worked. Um, lucky for me, it did. And not only did it work, but something magical happened when the first notes of Debbie's music played in that dark room. It made everything that I had shot and edited better. So much better that I stuck with her. Uh, and for 20 years, Debbie's been scoring just about everything I've ever done. Um, she once joked with me that her ideal job would be to walk, walk around with a keyboard strapped around her neck and just score everyday life. Um, and I guarantee that if Debbie scored your life, it would be so much better. It would be more dramatic, it would be more romantic, it would be funnier, it would be more exciting. Um, I would have loved it if Debbie had scored my life, um, but luckily she's done the next best thing and scored my career. Uh, from those early shorts, through feature films, to the TV series that we're doing together right now. Um, but I'm not just a collaborator, I'm a huge fan, and I've marveled at Debbie's work and her music for years. Uh, those who know her know she has an unmatched ear, and she has an amazing talent to write music in any genre, for any genre. And Debbie's what I would definitely consider a filmmaker's composer, because even though she can write beautiful music, her top priority is always to write the right music. The music that conveys the emotion of the scene, that tells the story, and that creates the mood the filmmaker is looking for. In my line of work, I'm often asked to recommend people. Other directors will call me up and say, how was this production designer? Did you like the cinematographer? Should I hire this editor? And I've worked with a lot of talented people, and I'm always more than happy to sing their praises but I make a point to reserve the word genius for only one person. That person is Debbie, she's a musical genius, and I've been really lucky to be pressing play on her music for all these years. Please say hello to another one of Debbie's many admirers, president of Motion Picture Music at Paramount Pictures, Mr. Randy Spinlove. I met Debbie Lurie 13 years ago when uh, I was single and my roommate Matt Sullivan said, let's go see a vaudeville show on Sunset Boulevard, which was a version of the Pussycat Dolls long before there was a pop group. She was the musical director at that time and uh, we saw the show. She came in for a meeting the following day and at that point I looked at what seemed to me a high school student or college student was this musical genius, my now longtime friend, Deborah. Um, I gave her an assignment, I was at Paramount Pictures at the time, and said, can you quickly rustle up a couple of demos for me? I have 12 movies in production and can you fix a few things? She very quickly became my secret weapon and fixed about a dozen movies, maybe two dozen movies for me, sometimes with no time, no budget, and I quickly relied on her to, um, to really help me in times of needs. So then, fast forward, my secret weapon became known by most people, and at Paramount Pictures, she's done a dozen or more movies for me, from the Justin Bieber film, the Katy Perry movie, Dream Girls, and Footloose, to name just a few. So I am thrilled to be here to honor my dear friend, secret weapon, and true genius, as was mentioned earlier tonight. Let's take a look at some of her work. <laughs> 